provide information for Galveston Channel. Tide times for today on Monday. Low tide at 12:02 a.m. High tide at 8:50. Good morning, everyone. This is Mark Davis for Weather Tracker Plus. <clears throat> Excuse me, while I clear my throat a little bit there. Uh, here's this is continuous live coverage of the landfall of Hurricane Barrel. Uh, the latest update for Barrel right now at two o'clock came out. Barrel's nearing the middle te Texas coast. Uh, let's see, Barrel's location is about twenty miles, thirty-five miles kilometers south southeast of Matagorda, Texas, about hundred miles east northeast of Corpus Christi, Texas. Maximum sustained winds right now are 80, 80 miles per hour. Uh, present movement north northwest at ten miles an hour, so it should be making landfall in a little bit more than an hour from now. So we're going to be going over a few things here while we're doing this. Give me a second here. I gotta... Coastal Brazoria, Coastal Galveston, Coastal. So uh, here's what we got going on right now. <clears throat> uh, let's go over a few things. We're going to bring up on the screen here. Um, bear with me while I get a situated here for real quick. Uh, let's bring up the. Uh, Wind gusts right now, map. When to Tuesday morning. So these are the <clears throat> these are the uh, confer, um, recorded wind gusts as, as as of right now. You see, there's a 70 mile an hour wind gust in this area, uh, just south of uh, just north of uh, uh, somewhere halfway between Corpus Christi and Galveston. Don't know exactly if I can give it. You know, four to ten inches of total rainfall, with some locally higher amounts possible, are expected. This may result in street flooding. We do have a tornado watch for the area. Uh, let's see if we can bring that up. And be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding. <clears throat> I'm having some voice problems at the moment. Mostly, the, most of the wind gusts in, uh, right now that are going around are, oh, let's see, about around Houston area, the upper 30s and low 40s. I'm sure those will pick up as some more wet rain bands come ashore. Uh, like I said, the largest, highest one right now is 70 miles an hour, but there has been a reported, let's see, we have one at Matagora Bay. Same wind is 60 miles per hour and gusts of 75 miles per hour. So that's a 75 mile an hour wind gust is a um, hurricane strength wind. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable. Including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, Persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to know what okay, here we got the, uh, right now we have a moderate risk for severe weather that's going to be in the uh, Louisiana, Texas, no, the Texarkana area. Uh, at that po point in time, it appears that we have, the, they're going to carry with it at a 10% risk for tornadic activity in that area. So... That's where we have a very possible of a tornado outbreak break during that time, once that hits. Um, so we're, we're also monitoring uh, some of the uh, emergency services. So as I listen to them, I'm going to be able to give you some updates with those right now. But right now we do have a tornado watch. That tornado watch, get some specifics on that tornado watch. There's a tornado watch for upper Texas coast, coastal waters, effective to 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, a couple tornadoes possible, isolated damage wind gusts to 70 miles per hour possible. So the so that's for the uh, out, the rain bands that uh, have the rotation counterclockwise spin to the hurricane against the surface winds, and that causes rotation and causes on uh, tornadoes. Those can spin up at any second. Uh, let's see what else we can bring up on the screen here that we got going on. I 
Now we can bring up, uh, let's bring up Radar Omega. This is, this, uh, this is the HRRR model run. Uh, the latest run that we have going on right now. Um, as you can see, this thing is going to run all the way, as time goes on, all the way, as remnants, all the way towards Ohio. I'm just checking a few things here. There's going to be some dead air with this because I'm, I guess I'm looking over some uh, different information that's going on right now. So we're going to bring up uh, radar scope. We do have an area of possible rotation. Let me see right here. Right here, I'm going to circle it. It's the only went up and down, gone up and down here as these as this feeder band comes through. And I am not seeing anywhere else. Just north, it's just a little bit north of Treasure Island. But this is possible rotation right here with this storm right there. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Those are some more information we'll be keeping an eye on. There are no tornado warnings, there are no severe thunderstorm warnings at the moment. And, uh,. So things are quiet except for wind gusts. There's a plenty of wind out there right now. This afternoon. Impact. Very strong winds will cause hazardous seas which could capsize or damage vessels and reduce visibility. Mariners should alter plans to avoid these hazardous conditions. Remain in port, seek safe harbor, alter course, and or secure the vessel for severe conditions. A storm surge warning remains in effect, and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following in Texas, Bolivar Peninsula, Chambers, and inland Galveston. 1 a.m. observation at Houston Bush Intercontinental, cloudy. I want to thank for everybody that's tuned in right now. Uh, as we keep track of what's going on, I said there's no, uh, no, no major announcements right now, like I said, except for wind gusts we got going on. I said we can bring that up again. Uh, Temperature seventy nine, dew point seventy nine, relative humidity. There is, there is a definitely a flood, a, a flood aerial flood warning right now also in some areas, but right now we still the highest wind gust we got from this storm right now that we're showing on our screen is seventy miles an hour, and. Uh, that's all we. That's all we got going right now. Measure twenty nine point seven four inches and falling. 
other regional observations. Temperatures were between 78 and 82 degrees. At the airport, rain was falling. It was mostly cloudy at Huntsville, Dallas, Fort Worth, and San Antonio. It was cloudy at Conroe, Tomball, and College Station. Rest of the country, I like see on the map we have right now, we have uh, a line of storms uh, in northeast Iowa. It goes from the top of the state, almost a full length of the state. Headed east towards Illinois and the Chicagoland area. Uh, we do have some, still have some heavy rains and storms in Oklahoma and northern Texas near the Dallas area. Temperature 87. Wave height 10 feet. Wave period 11 seconds. 60 miles south of Freeport. Winds were south at 39 knots. Sea temperature 86. Wave height, 19 feet. Wave period, 10 seconds. The forecast for Houston and the surrounding areas. Tornado watch, 513 in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday. Tropical storm warning in effect. Flood watch remains in effect through Tuesday morning. Rest of tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall. Windy. Near steady temperature in the upper 70s. Winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Increasing to 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 55 miles per hour. Chance of rain 90%. Monday, showers and thunderstorms. Now we still have that little bit of rotation right here north of Treasure Island. We still have, There's no tornado warning on it, so... We'll just have to just keep an eye on it uh, if you're in that area. It's pretty much uh, not quite, not a heavily populated area, but anybody in the area of like Liverpool, Danbury, and Angleton, make sure you're weather aware of what's going on right now. Mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the evening. Lows in the mid 70s. Southwest wind 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Becoming west 5 to 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Humid with highs around 90. West wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Humid with lows in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Thursday. Partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Friday, partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Index values up to 105. Friday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. With highs in the mid 90s. Chance of rain 40%. Heat index values up to 110. Saturday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the upper 70s. Heat index values up to 105 early in the evening. Sunday, mostly sunny. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-90s. Chance of rain, 40%. Heat index values up to 110. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Galveston Bay. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight. Tropical storm conditions. 
Gusts wind 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Rising to 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. The water is very rough, rising to dangerous. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. Becoming south 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 45 knots in the afternoon. The water is dangerous, easing to very rough in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, easing to around 20 knots after midnight. The water is rough, easing to choppy after midnight. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, west winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. The water is slightly choppy, easing to smooth in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the morning. Tuesday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, northwest winds around 5 knots, veering to southeast in the afternoon. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, west winds around 5 knots. Backing to south in the afternoon. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10. I'm just checking on the tides right now. Right now it looks like uh, the low tide is currently now. Um, I want to say high tide. Yeah, low tide is at 8, 622. I mean, I'm sorry. High tide, it, low t high tide is at 7:38 a.m. So that's another. We got another five hours before high tide hits the area. So hopefully that that would cur help the uh, storm surge not be so high. If it was high tide, it would make this storm surge much better, uh, much worse. I should say, not better. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest it tonight. Tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. East winds 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Becoming southeast 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 70 knots. Seas 9 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet. Building to 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet. Wave detail, southeast 16 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots, easing to 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 12 to 17 feet, occasionally to 22 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, south 17 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible with hurricane conditions also possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, easing to around 20 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 10 feet at 8 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, West winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Wave detail, south 4 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely until late afternoon. Then scattered showers and thunderstorms late. Here's South Padre Island camera. Um, you see there's some pretty good wave action. This is well south of the... Uh, the storm now, this is where originally they thought the storm was going to make landfall, but the, 
barrel has made a little bit of a right hand turn and headed more north. I do believe the direction right now, 345 degrees, because it's almost, so that's only 15 degrees off of due north. So it's north northwest uh, storm at the moment, 10 miles an hour. So we're waiting for it to make landfall. Right now, like I said, we have no severe thunderstorms or tornado warnings with this storm at the moment. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots, back into southeast in the afternoon. Keep one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the morning, then showers and thunderstorms likely late in the morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. These one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. These one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. South winds 5 to 10 knots. He's one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher and end their thunderstorms. This is your NOAA weather radio station, PGG 68, operating on a frequency of 162.40 megahertz from the National Weather Service office in Lee City, Texas. I'm going to bring up... Uh... Another computer. This is, uh, I'm going to try to point out where the, you see the, uh, my pointer's not working on my computer right now, which is kind of uh, messing things up here. So. Okay, let's see if we can get it to get it working here. There's. You're watching weather track. Yeah, that ain't gonna work either. All day, every day. Please like. Got a good color here for this. It's met. Get the word out to others about today's weather. Here's today's weather headlines from the National Weather Service. Tropical storm barrel expected to re-intensify to hurricane strength and make landfall on the central tech. Okay, let's see what we can do here again. So we can get this to work. More heat and humidity for the mid-Atlantic as well. Focus of severe thunderstorms and heavy rain. So this band of storms here, and it's back to yellow again. I don't understand why. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's try that again. Now for today's weather story. After reorganizing over the western Gulf of Mexico, tropical storm... Bear with me, folks. This is live and it's not perfect. <laughs> Heavy showers and thunderstorms associated with the outer rain bands of Barrel have already moved onshore into eastern Texas this Sunday afternoon. Additional rain bands will likely impact much of coastal Texas with increasingly squally conditions overnight as the core of barrel approaches the central Texas. All right, maybe we get it to work this time. Hurricane Center expects barrel to re-intensify into... Here's here, I'm going to uh, circle the band where I think most of your uh, tornado action is going to take place. And that's going to be in this area in here, this band of storms as they make their way towards the shore. That's where uh, you can tell by the... the Curvature of the storms that these are going to be the ones that are going to be given the most possible tornadoes <clears throat> at the moment. So we're going to be keeping an eye on those as best as we can. Total rainfall amounts of 5 to 10 inches with localized amounts of 15 inches are expected near and just east of the track of barrel through Monday night. Highest amounts are expected near the coast. The heavy rainfall will likely produce areas of flash and urban flooding, some of which may be locally considerable. Minor to isolated moderate river flooding is also expected. 
As barrel tracks farther inland, it will come into increasing interaction with an upper-level trough over the midsection of the country and will begin to lose tropical characteristics Monday night. The upper trough will also turn barrel toward the northeast across Arkansas on Tuesday as barrel becomes extratropical. Some gusty winds can be expected as extratropical barrel tracks across Arkansas toward the mid-Mississippi Valley on Tuesday. A period of heavy rain can also be expected just north of Barrel's track. Meanwhile, the extremely dangerous heat wave in the west is forecast to continue and expand across the northwest and into the northern high plains over the next few days. Dozens of daily record temperatures are forecast to be tied or broken into the work week. Highs in the 100s to 110s and lows in the 70s will be 15 to 30 degree above normal. The multi-day nature of the heat and record warm overnight temperatures will cause heat stress to build in people without adequate cooling and hydration. In addition to the heat, dry and windy conditions over parts of southern Utah will contribute to a critical fire weather risk today. The heat is forecast to get less intense across the Central Valley of California through the next couple of days as highs are forecast to stay below 110 by Tuesday, but afternoon temperatures will remain well into the 100s. Meanwhile, highs are forecast to top 110 degrees on Tuesday at the hottest locations in interior Pacific Northwest, with 120 degrees remain within reach in the desert southwest. The digging upper trough over the central U.S. that eventually lifts barrel across the Mid-South will push a surface cold front south through the central plains into this evening. Severe thunderstorms and excessive rainfall associated with clusters of convection will remain a concern into tonight. A slight chance of flash flooding will also extend northeast across the Midwest through tonight. In addition, scattered thunderstorms will also move across many areas of the northern plains and upper Midwest, as well as across the Mid-Atlantic and into the southeast through the next couple of days. Isolated instances of flash flooding cannot be ruled out in these areas. Again, if you like what you're watching, please like, subscribe and share this stream. We're probably a good <clears throat> 5, 10, <clears throat> maybe 15 minutes away from official landfall. Additional details. Heavy rain associated with tropical storm barrel is expected to pose a flash flooding threat for southeast Texas. 4 to 10 inches of total rainfall, with some locally higher amounts possible, are expected. This may result in street flooding, as well as rises along area rivers. Monitor later forecast and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. Repeating, a flood watch remains in effect from 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday until 7 a.m. Central Daylight Time Tuesday for the following counties in Texas, Bolivar Peninsula, Brazoria, Chambers, Fort Bend, Galveston, Harris, Liberty, Montgomery, and Waller. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 513, effective until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday. This watch includes the following counties in Texas, Galveston, Harris, Liberty, and Montgomery, and the following coastal locations, Galveston Bay, and coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. High rip current risk remains in effect through Tuesday morning. Watch dangerous rip current. Winter, Gulf facing beaches, including the Matagorda Peninsula, Brazoria County beaches, Galveston Island, and the Bolivar Peninsula. When through Tuesday morning. Impact rip currents can sweep even the best swimmers away from shore into deeper water. When you're a lifeguard and away from rocks, jetties, and piers, if caught in the rip current, relax and float. Don't swim against the current. If able, swim in a direction following the shoreline. If unable to escape, face the shore and call or wave for help.
Here is the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. Active systems. The National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on recently upgraded Hurricane Daryl, located over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next seven days. Daryl forecast to make landfall as a hurricane near Matagorda Bay late tonight. New information. Changes to watches and warnings. The tropical storm warning and hurricane watch have been upgraded to a hurricane warning for Galveston Island. Current watches and warnings. A storm surge warning and hurricane warning are in effect for Brazoria Islands, coastal Brazoria, coastal Jackson, coastal Matagorda, Galveston Island, and Matagorda Islands. A hurricane warning. Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern San Miguel County in northeastern New Mexico, southeastern Mora County in northeastern New Mexico. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Austin, Brazos, Burleson, Colorado, Fort Bend, Grimes, Houston, Inland Galveston, Inland Harris, Madison, Montgomery, Northern Liberty, Polk, San Jacinto, Southern Liberty, Trinity, Walker, Waller, and Washington storm information about 130 miles south southwest of Galveston, Texas, or about 70 miles south southeast of Matagota, Texas. 27.6 m 95.6 w. Storm intensity 70 miles per hour. Movement north and northwest, or 345 degrees at 10 miles per hour. Situation overview. Tropical storm Daryl has very nearly regained hurricane strength within hours of landfall on the Texas Gulf Coast near Matagorda Bay. Recent motion has been northerly, or just slightly east of due north, and that track will continue through Monday as it crosses southeast Texas. Though the storm will weaken as it moves inland, it will continue to bring gusty winds, periods of heavy rain, and potential for brief tornadoes, particularly to areas east of the storm center. The current forecast track brings the center of the storm just west of the Houston Metro tomorrow. Next update. The next local statement will be issued by the National Weather Service in Houston, Galveston, Texas, around 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or sooner if conditions warrant. This is your NOAA Weather Radio Station, KGG 68, operating on a frequency of 162.40 megahertz from the National Weather Service office in League City, Texas. The transmitter and antenna for this station are located in downtown Houston, Texas, with the cooperation of the Houston Office of Emergency Management and the Houston Fire Department. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning have been upgraded to a hurricane warning for the following county, Galveston Island, Texas. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Brazoria, Jackson, Matagorda and Wharton. I'm going <clears> to <throat> bring up, I got a Galveston camera. You can't see much to it right now. Uh, there's obviously no lightning to it. You can't see the wind. But right here in the lower left-hand corner, and there's, you see a couple blue lights. Those lights are on a dock. And I totally expect once the storm surge starts hitting that area, those will probably be underwater because it's right on top of the water. So we'll see what see what how that works out as time goes on here. Colorado, Fort Bend, Galveston, Grimes, Harris, Houston, Liberty, Madison, Montgomery, Polk, San Jacinto, Trinity, Walker, Waller, and Washington. Tropical storm warning remains in effect. What? South wind 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots and dangerous bay waters. Where? Galveston Bay. When? Tropical storm force winds possible until late this afternoon. Impact. Very strong winds will cause hazardous seas which could capsize or damage vessels and reduce visibility. Mariners should alter plans to avoid these hazardous conditions. The main imports, seek safe harbor, alter course, and or secure the vessel for severe conditions. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, 
Bolivar Peninsula, Chambers and Inland Galveston. UAM observations at Houston Bush Intercontinental. Light rain was falling. Temperature 80, dew point 77, relative humidity 90 percent. Wind east at 21 miles an hour, gusting to 29. Measure 29.77 inches and falling. Angleton, rain and fog were reported. Temperature 78, dew point 78, relative humidity 100 percent. Wind east at 26 miles an hour, gusting to 45. Measure 29.60 inches and falling. The report from Galveston was not available. Other regional observations, temperatures were between 78 and 81 degrees. At Hobby Airport, rain was falling. It was mostly cloudy at College Station and San Antonio. It was cloudy at Huntsville, Conroe, Tomball, and Dallas-Fort Worth. Coastal stations at Victoria, rain was falling with a temperature of 79. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 79 at Lake Charles and 83 at Corpus Christi. At Beaumont, it was cloudy with a temperature of 82. At Palacios, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 75. The buoy reports 20 miles east of Galveston, winds were raised at 29 knots. The temperature 87, 60 miles south of Freeport, winds were south at 39 knots. The temperature 85. The forecast for Houston and the surrounding areas. Tornado watch 513 in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday. Tropical storm warning in effect. Flood watch remains in effect through Tuesday morning. Rest of tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall. Windy. Near steady temperature in the upper 70s. East winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Increasing to 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 55 miles per hour. Chance of rain 90%. Monday, showers and thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall. Strong winds. Humid with highs in the lower 80s. East winds 45 to 55 miles per hour with gusts up to 85 miles per hour. Becoming southwest and diminishing to 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 75 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Monday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the evening. Lows in the mid-70s. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Becoming west 5 to 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Humid with highs around 90. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Humid with lows in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Thursday. Partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Friday, partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Index values up to 100. Good morning, Life at Tornado Alley. Becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Hot with highs in the mid 90s. Chance of rain 40%. We got our next 
National Weather Service updates coming up in about, uh, well, it will be 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I do believe that's what it said. No, it's actually 4 a.m. That's another another, another hour and a half. Oh, well, they give you an hourly update, so it'll be 20 minutes we get an hourly update, though. That's right. I forgot about that. There's a... The full up, a full up, uh, update won't come until. Excuse me. Following coastal location, Galveston Bay. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest for tonight. Tropical storm conditions. East wind 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Rising to 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. And maybe by in the 20 minutes, we will definitely have a confirmation that there has been landfall. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. Becoming south 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 45 knots in the afternoon. Bay water is dangerous, easing to very rough in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots. Easing to around 20 knots after midnight. Bay waters rough, easing to choppy after midnight. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, west winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. Bay waters slightly choppy, easing to smooth in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the morning. Tuesday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, northwest winds around 5 knots, nearing to southeast in the afternoon. Water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, west winds around 5 knots, backing to south in the afternoon. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and waves higher in and near thunderstorms. The coastal waters forecast. For the following coastal location, coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest of tonight, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. East winds 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Becoming southeast 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 70 knots. These nine Currently we have one... Severe weather warning, and that's in uh, New Mexico, northeast of Albuquerque. But nothing associated with the storm right now except for a, a flood warning along the coast. But other than that, we're completely uh, warning-free. No tornado warnings, no severe thunderstorms warnings for this storm. And there probably won't be many to uh, severe thunderstorm warnings for this storm. Um, my guess is going to only be a few... Um, Tornado warnings, you're not going to waste any time with severe thunderstorm warnings for this storm. Sound 17 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night. There are some pretty strong winds. Uh, let's see if we can bring up those winds again. Uh, okay. Hit this button, and there we go. See if there are any other higher wind gusts that are involved with this storm that we've got reported in the area. You can see in the green circle, that's where the flood warning is at the moment. 
I'm seeing a uh, 71 mile an hour wind gust at that same station that had the 70 earlier. I am not seeing any higher than that. We had some 40s around the Houston area. Galveston was at 44 as it last reported. So the winds are starting to pick up. Um, my guess is when the next update, which is probably coming at 3 o'clock when the new numbers come in, we'll see some higher wind gusts as these bands start raking through the area. Here's a storm surge map. The highest peak is Matagorda to um, San Luis Pass for in Port O'Connor, a four to seven foot um, storm surge in that area. And they gradually go down as uh, time goes on. As they move either north or south from that area. But four to seven is the highest at the moment. Like I said, I think right now they're transitioning from low tide to high tide. And high tide won't be till another three or four hours from now. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, southwest wind 5 to 10 knots, back into southeast in the afternoon. He's one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the morning, then showers and thunderstorms likely late in the morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Latest information on bur barrel. We got uh, maximum sustained winds 80 miles per hour movement north northwest at 10 miles an hour, and we will have another update in another. Well, we got 14 minutes or so with the latest information on barrel, and like I said, by at that time they may confirm that this has just made landfall. It's real close. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Water from High Island to Freeport, Texas, extending from 20 to 60 nautical miles. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest of tonight, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots. Seas 12 to 16 feet, occasionally but 20 feet. Building to 13 to 18 feet, occasionally to 23 feet. Wave detail, south 18 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots, easing to 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet. Subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, south 15 feet at 9 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms until late afternoon. Then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms late. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible with hurricane conditions also possible. South winds 20 to 25 knots, becoming southwest around 20 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 6 feet at 7 seconds. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then showers and thunderstorms likely after midnight. Tuesday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Wave detail, south four feet at six seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely until late afternoon, then scattered showers and thunderstorms late. Tuesday night, south winds five to 10 knots. Seas around three feet. Wave detail, south three feet at six seconds. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, South winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail. Southeast 3 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Wednesday night. South winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening. 
scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Just up and dating the uh, stream right now. Wait for some new information to come out. There's really nothing uh, to report. I fully expected more spin-up tornadoes at the, at this time, but there are not any. So just bear with us. Friday night, south winds five to ten knots. He's one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher and end their thunderstorms. This is the 3.45 p.m. Upper Texas Coast Tide Information for Galveston Channel. Tide times for today. On Monday, low tide at 12.02 a.m. High tide at 8.55 a.m. Severe thunderstorm warning for North Central San Miguel County in northeastern New Mexico, South Central Mora County in northeastern New Mexico. On Monday, low tide at 1.57 a.m. High tide at 2.36 p.m. The water temperature at Galveston Bay entrance was 87 degrees. Flood watch remains in effect through Tuesday morning. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Where? Portions of South Central and Southeast Texas, including the following areas in South Central Texas, Coastal Jackson, and Inland Jackson. Now we have our second uh, severe thunderstorm morning again in New Mexico that just came out. Like I said, nothing associated with barrel right now, but I assume that's going to change here shortly. Coastal Matagorda, Colorado, Fort Bend, Galveston Island, Grimes, Houston, Inland Brazoria, Inland Galveston, Inland Harris, Inland Matagorda, Madison, Matagorda. And we've been, I've been live myself here for, I mean, the stream is always live 24-7, but I've been live myself here with analysis for almost an hour now. And within a few minutes, we'll have an update here from the National Weather Service. So hopefully, we'll get uh, some more info here. Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Additional details, heavy rain associated with tropical storm barrel is expected to pose a flash flooding threat for southeast Texas. Four to ten inches of total rainfall, with some locally higher amounts possible, are expected. This may result in street flooding, as well as rises along area rivers, creeks, streams, and bayous. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in... There are currently 12 people in our stream right now. If you're here, if you haven't uh, liked this stream, please do so. Uh, if you're so inclined, become a subscriber. It doesn't cost you anything to be a subscriber. And not, get, hit the notify button and you can get notified whenever we uh, have something special going on. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 513, effective until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday. This watch includes the following counties. Liberty in Montgomery and the following coastal locations, Galveston Bay and coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen. Here's a scene from South Padre Island again. Like I said, it's got some pretty good wave action. I, they don't have much else is going on. Like I said, they're well south now of the projected landfall for um, Beryl. Like I said, originally they were under the gun, but now, fortunately for them, they are not. Galveston Island and the Bolivar Peninsula. When rip currents can sweep even the best swimmers away from shore into deeper water. 
when you're a lifeguard and away from rocks, jetties, and piers. Keep caught in the rip current, relax and float. Don't swim against the current. If able, swim in a direction following the shoreline. If unable to escape, face the shore and call or wave for help. Here is the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. Active systems. The National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on recently upgraded Hurricane Daryl, located over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next seven days. Daryl forecast to make landfall as a hurricane near Matagorda. Here we have Galveston again. Like I said, you can still see these lights here in the lower left-hand corner. There's no, uh, I do suspect in the next couple hours or so, these might be underwater with the storm surge. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Coastal Brazoria, Coastal Jackson, Coastal Matagorda, Galveston Island, and Matagorda Islands. A hurricane warning is in effect for inland Brazoria, inland Jackson, inland Matagorda. And Wharton, I'm going to give you the uh, next, uh, here shortly, we're going to do the next run. It's it's loading right now, the next run of the HRRR model. Show where this storm is going to be going in the next couple of days and what we're going to have to watch for. Grimes, Houston, Inland Galveston, Inland Harris, Madison, Montgomery, Northern Liberty, Pope. I got a funny feeling there to... to this is going to be, the winds are going to be updated on this. They're going to be a little bit higher than they are in the last report, but we'll see. 130 miles south, southwest of Galveston, Texas, or about 70 miles south, southeast of Matagorda, Texas, 27.6 mm. And I apologize, I do sound tired, because I am tired. Haven't had much sleep the last couple of days. Uh, it's been a busy week for me. I, I am a local emergency management manager, and I also put on the 4th of July fireworks show. So I've been pretty busy the last few days and not getting a lot of sleep with set up, take down. I did get to relax a little bit on Saturday. That was pretty good. And yesterday I was getting set up for today's uh, storm. So it will continue to bring gusty winds, periods of heavy rain, and potential for brief tornadoes, particularly to areas east of the storm center. The okay, I'm going to bring up Radar Omega. The uh, HRRR future radar. As you can see here down here below, we got the tornado risk area in the lower where the storm is hitting. We got a 10% risk in the Tri uh, Texarkana area, parts of uh, Texas, Arkansas, and uh, Louisiana. But as you can see, as it prog progresses, the storm is going to still be a storm. Oh, probably. 12 to 15 hours from now and then it's going to, it's going to be a remnant low and as it as the days progress on uh, tomorrow and then on to um what uh wednesday you're going to see that uh storm makes it all the way we got rain in illinois indiana ohio as the storm is in ohio all the way into michigan so this storm is going to be affecting the central part of the united states for quite some time and and probably today and tomorrow we expect some, plenty of tornado activity due to the circulation of the storm so everyone in this area in the midwest here from uh, michigan all the way down to louisiana needs to stay weather aware the next couple of days to make sure they keep abreast of the situation houston liberty madison montgomery polk san jacinto trinity walker Waller and Washington. Tropical storm warning remains in effect. What? South wind 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots and dangerous bay waters. Where? Galveston Bay. When? Tropical storm... For okay, the update's coming, coming out here in a second, but I just want to point out we do have uh, some new uh, wind information for wind gusts. And the area that you said the 71 mile an hour wind gust now is reported an 80 mile an hour wind gust. So I, I suspect that we're going to see some more. And that's in the eye wall section of that storm. So I'm expecting more higher wind gusts as time goes on. We got looks like a 43 or 48 near just south of Houston, 49 Galveston, 
So the speeds are starting to come up right now as this thing starts to make it to shore. Light rain was falling. Temperature 80, dew point 77, relative humidity 90%. Wind east at 21 miles an hour, gusting to 29. Measure 29.77 inches and falling. Angleton, rain and fog were reported. Temperature 78, dew point 78, relative humidity 100%. Wind needs at 26 miles an hour. Okay, here's the uh, here's the official forecast, and wow, they looks like they've changed things a little bit because I do believe they didn't give a time, but now they're saying barrels expected to make landfall along Middle Texas coast within the next hour or two. The three o'clock a.m. Central Daylight Time position update: barrels nearing the Middle Texas coast and expected to make landfall within the next hour or two. Life-threatening storm surge and heavy rainfall is ongoing across portions of Texas. Sustained tropical force winds and hurricane force wind gusts have already been reported along the coast. These winds will continue to spread inland. NOS station located at Matagorda City recently reported a sustained wind of 68 miles per hour and a gust of 86 miles per hour. So here's the summary. The location is 28.4 north, 96.0 west, about 15 miles South-southeast of Matagora, Texas, about 100 miles of Corpus Christi, Texas. Maximum sustained winds still 80 miles an hour. Present mo movement is now still north-northwest-west, 345 degrees at 10 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 982 at 29.00 inches. Ah, oh, weather well, storm lord. I see you came to enjoy us to join us again. Welcome back. I'm really surprised Gary's not here. I know he left early. I thought maybe he was going to go take a nap and come up, come do the show. But well, maybe he still will. We'll have to see. miles per hour. Chance of rain ninety percent. Monday. Showers and thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall. Strong winds. Humid with highs in the lower 80s. East winds 45 to 55 miles per hour with gusts up to 85 miles per hour. Becoming southwest and diminishing to 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 75 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. You're watching Weather Tracker Plus. We're live all day, every day. Please like, subscribe, and share the stream so we can get the word out to others about today's weather. Here's today's weather headlines from the National Weather Service. Tropical oh, we still have two severe th thunderstorm warnings at the time. Those are both, again, are in New Mexico. There are no tornado warnings. There are no severe thunderstorm warnings. I do. We do have a flash flood warning for... Southern Brazoria County and northeastern Matagora County until 4.45 this morning. Uh, thunderstorms reported Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicate thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned areas. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing and expected to begin shortly. And some of the, some of the areas that our locations are... Uh, Experience, well, we've been experiencing flash flooding. It's Lake Johnson, Southern Anglington, Bay City, Freeport, Clute, West Columbia, Sweeney, Surfside Beach, Richwood, Brazoria, Jones Creek, Oyster Creek, Southern Bailey's Prairie, Wild Peach Village, Sargent, and Van Fleck. Also, low water crossings, southbound State Highway 35 at Linville Bayou, State Highway 288 and Oyster Creek, Grace Street and Cottonwood Creek, Hammond Road at Cottonwood Creek, County Road 521 at the Brazos River, State Highway 36 at the Brazos River, County Road 2611 at San Bernard River, and State Highway 35 at Linville Bayou. So again, there's a flash flood warning for southern Brazoria and northeastern Matagora counties until 4.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. So that's basically the only warning we have right now for the storm except for hurricane warnings. Of the track of you do have an enhanced risk area for severe thunderstorms. 
that's covering Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. Uh, that area contains a 10% risk for tornadic activity today, and that will be happening on later on as the storm moves inland. Tracks farther inland. It will come into increasing interaction with an upper level trough over the midsection of the country and will begin to lose tropical characteristics Monday night. The upper trough will also turn barrel toward the northeast across Arkansas on Tuesday. So we have, uh, I'm looking at the um, power outages right now. Texas has already over almost 41,000 customers without power right now. I'm sure as time goes on, that's going to get higher. Unfortunately, Texas's power grid has proven in the last number of years that it's rather rather uh, shaky power infrastructure, but we'll see how it goes. Highs in the 100s to 110s and lows in the 70s will be 15 to 30 degree above normal. The multi-day nature of the heat and record warm overnight temperatures will cause heat stress to build in people without adequate cooling and hydration. In addition to the heat, dry and windy conditions over parts of southern Utah will contribute to a critical fire weather risk today. The heat is forecast to get less intense across the Central Valley of California through the next couple of days as highs are forecast to stay below 110 by Tuesday, but afternoon temperatures will remain well into the 100s. Meanwhile, highs are forecast to top 110 degrees on Tuesday at the hottest locations in interior Pacific Northwest, with 120 degrees remain within reach in the desert southwest. The digging upper trough over the central U.S. that eventually lifts barrel across the Mid-South will push a surface cold front south through the central plains into this evening. Severe thunderstorms and excessive rainfall associated with clusters of convection will remain a concern into tonight. A slight chance Thanks, Weather Storm Lord, for the compliment. In addition, scattered thunderstorms will also move across many areas of the northern plains and upper Midwest, as well as across the Mid-Atlantic and into the southeast through the next couple of days. Isolated instances of flash flooding cannot be ruled out in these areas. Again, if you like what you're watching, please like, subscribe, and share this stream. Thank you for watching Weather Tracker Plus. West winds around 5 knots, back into south in the afternoon. Be water smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Be water smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Be water smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, South winds 5 to 10 knots. Be water smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and waves higher and end their thunderstorms. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest of tonight. Tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. East winds 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Becoming southeast 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 70 knots. Seas 9 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet. Building to 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet. Wave detail, southeast 16 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots, easing to 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 12 to 17 feet, occasionally to 22 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, south 17 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible with hurricane conditions also possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, easing to around 20 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 10 feet at 8 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, 
west winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Wave detail, south 4 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely until late afternoon, then scattered showers and thunderstorms late. Severe thunderstorm warning for North Central San Miguel County in northeastern New Mexico, southeastern Mora County in northeastern New Mexico. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots, back into southeast in the afternoon. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail, southeast 3 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots, back into southeast in the afternoon. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Then showers and thunderstorms likely late in the morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, extending from 20 to 60 nautical miles. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest of tonight, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots. Seas 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet. Building to 13 to 18 feet, occasionally to 23 feet. Wave detail, south 18 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots, easing to 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, south 15 feet at 9 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms until late afternoon, then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms late. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible with hurricane conditions also possible. South winds 20 to 25 knots, becoming southwest around 20 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet. Subsiding to 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 6 feet at 7 seconds. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then showers and thunderstorms likely after midnight. Tuesday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Wave detail, south 4 feet at 6 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely until late afternoon, then scattered showers and thunderstorms late. Tuesday night. I'll be right back, folks. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail, south 3 feet at 6 seconds. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail, southeast 3 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, 
south winds five to ten knots. Seas around three feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, south winds five to ten knots. Seas one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds five to ten knots. Seas one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, south winds five to ten knots. Seas one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher and end their thunderstorms. This is the 3.45 p.m. Upper Texas Coast Tide Information for Galveston Channel. Tide times for today, on Monday, low tide at 12.02 a.m. High tide at 8.55 a.m. For Clear Lake Entrance, tide times for today, on Monday, low tide at 5.51 a.m. High tide at 4.12 p.m. For Port O'Connor, Time times for today, on Monday, low tide at 1.57 a.m. High tide at 2.36 p.m. The water temperature at Galveston Bay entrance was 87 degrees. Flood watch remains in effect through Tuesday morning. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Winter, portions of south central and southeast Texas, including the following areas in south central Texas, Coastal Jackson and Inland Jackson in southeast Texas. Austin. Okay, I'm back. Had to get some liquid refreshment. Need some caffeine to keep me going here. So the next full update will be at 4 a.m. That's 44 minutes from now. Uh, we're going to stay with that. I'm guessing I could have sworn that this thing, based on the eyewall, has made landfall, but. I guess they're going to wait till it's completely on land. Liberty, Trinity, Walker, Walner, Washington, and Warden. When? Metagora County in uh, Texas. That's, um... Other low-lying and flood-prone locations. We have, they have, what they have here, let's see, we have a, uh... 16,000 customers being tracked in... 7,000 are out. You got a 41%, 40, some, almost 7,000 are out. That's a 41% chance, uh, not chance, but 41% of the people are out of power right now in that county. Uh, that's the worst county. Then you got Rosaria County. They have 3,000 people out. Uh, Wharton County has 479 out. And then Ken Kennedy County has got 105 customers out that's well south of course so that's well south of the hurricane right now central daylight time monday until 7 a.m central daylight time tuesday for the following counties in texas bolivar peninsula severe thunderstorm warning for north central san miguel county in northeastern new mexico until 6 15 a.m central daylight time this morning what Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected. Where? A portion of southeast Texas, including the following counties, Brazoria, Fort Bend, and Galveston. When? Until 6.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Impacts. Minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Ponding of water in urban or other areas is occurring or is imminent. Additional details. At 3.13 a.m. Central... Day Another severe thunderstorm warning, of course, you just heard for New Mexico. That's where all the storm action is at, right at the moment. Uh, that's where all the warnings are. Like I said, there are no warnings except for a flash flood warning that I just read earlier with associated with the storm, except for the hurricane and tropical, fort, tropical storm warnings that are listed. There is a tornado watch. I do believe, let me give you, let's give you an update on that tornado watch for those of you who just might have just joined us. There's a tornado watch for portions of upper Texas coast and coastal waters effective until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Primary threats include a couple tornadoes and isolated damaging wind gusts to 70 miles per hour possible. Uh, that, again, that is till 10 a.m. this morning. Turn around. 
dog drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. This is your NOAA Weather Radio Station, KGG 68, operating on a frequency of 162.40 megahertz from the National Weather Service Office in League City, Texas. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 513, effective until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday. This watch includes the following counties in Texas, Galveston, Harris, Liberty, and Montgomery, and the following coastal locations, Galveston Bay, and coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, Persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. High rip current risk remains in effect through Tuesday morning. What? Dangerous rip current. Where? Golf-facing beaches, including the Matagordan Peninsula. Brazoria County Beaches, Galveston Island, and the Bolivar Peninsula. When? To Tuesday morning. Impacts. Rip currents can sweep even the best swimmers away from shore into deeper water. When you're a lifeguard and away from rocks, jetties, and piers. If caught in the rip current, relax and float. Don't swim again. Yeah, that's my monotone voice have put, has put... Uh Storm Lord to sleep, probably. Here is the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. Active systems. The National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on recently upgraded hurricane barrels located over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next seven days. Barrel forecast to make landfall as okay, a let's go back to the wind the wind gust map. We do have some higher gusts. Uh, where we had the 80 mile an hour wind gust is now down to a 73, but we got some near 60 mile an hour wind gusts there. Uh, all of in Galveston and um, areas there. Uh, and Matagorda. But you can see that this uh, storm is slowly but surely making its way to shore. Now, the, well, we just got an update here. Uh, we have a 65 mile an hour wind gust right here. Just south of Galveston. Madison. Montgomery. So winds are starting to pick up as these bands make their way toward shore. Like I said, none of these bands have produced any tornadoes at the moment. We're keeping an eye on that. Uh, we're bringing the latest on those when we can. And uh, right now, Texas has 53,373 53, customers without power. That number is starting to go up some more. Uh, I did give you that update on uh, who has the worst. Let's see if we, we got any updates on these. Flash flood warning for West Central Boone County. Yeah, that's pretty much the same as the last report that I gave you. A few more in Brazoria County are, are, are now without power. And like I said, I expect that to go up as time goes on. Of heavy rain and potential for brief tornadoes, particularly to areas east of the storm center. The current forecast track brings the center of the storm just west of the Houston Metro tomorrow next update. The next local statement will be issued by the National Weather Service in Houston, Galveston, Texas, around 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or sooner if conditions warrant. A storm surge warning remains in effect, and a hurricane watch and tropical storm warning have been upgraded to a hurricane warning for the following counties, Galveston Island, Texas. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Brazoria, Jackson, Matagorda, and Wharton. Hurricane
hurricane warning remains in effect. What? South winds 40 to 60 knots with gusts up to 75 knots and seas 20 to 25 feet. Where? Portions of Gulf of Mexico. When? Tropical storm force winds possible until early this afternoon. Impact. Extremely strong winds will cause hazardous seas which will likely capsize or damage vessels and severely reduce visibility. Mariners should remain in port, alter course, and or secure the vessel for extreme conditions. A tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Austin, Brazos, Burleson, Colorado, Fort Bend, Galveston, Grimes, Harris, Houston, Liberty, Madison, Montgomery, Polk, San Jacinto, Trinity, Walker, Waller, and Washington. Tropical storm warning remains in effect. What? South winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots and dangerous bay waters. Where? Galveston Bay. When? Tropical storm force winds possible until late this afternoon. Impact. Very strong winds will cause hazardous seas which could capsize or damage vessels and reduce visibility. Mariners should alter plans to avoid these hazardous conditions. Remain in port, seek safe harbor, alter course, and or secure the vessel for severe conditions. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Bolivar Peninsula, Chambers and Inland Galveston. 3 a.m. observations at Houston Bush Intercontinental, rain was falling. Temperature 79, dew point 76, relative humidity 90%. Wind east at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 36. Pressure 29.74 inches and falling. At Angleton, heavy rain and fog were reported, reducing the visibility to 2 miles. Temperature 78, dew point 78. Relative humidity 100%. Wind east at 35 miles an hour, gusting to 60. Pressure 29.53 inches and falling. Galveston. Heavy rain and fog were reported. Visibility 2 and 1 half miles. Temperature 82, dew point 79. Wind was east at 30 miles an hour. And the pressure was 29.60 inches. I'm still here. How you doing, life? Rain was falling at Hobby Airport and Conroe. At San Antonio, it was partly cloudy. Just got, which is probably good news, got no, nothing much to report on what's going on here. I'm sure there's some damage being um, caused right now, and but a lot of this area that where this is coming... Is a is not as densely populated as the Houston area, so that's a good thing for right now. At Palmaches, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 75. The buoy reports 20 miles east of Galveston, temperature 85, water temperature 87, wind east at 33 knots, east 11 feet with a period of 11 seconds. 60 miles south of Freeport, winds were south at 39 knots. Temperature 85. The forecast for Houston and the surrounding areas. Tornado watch 513 in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time Monday. Tropical storm warning in effect. Flood watch remains in effect through Tuesday morning. Rest of tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall. Windy. Near steady temperature in the upper 70s. East wind 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Increasing to 20 to 30 miles. Uh, you're probably right. That I'm, I do think they expected it to gain strength again faster than it did. Uh, unfortunately for everyone, there's some. it got hit with some dry air in the northwest portion of that storm so that kept it from uh, gaining strength again up to 85 miles per hour becoming southwest and diminishing to 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 75 miles per hour in the afternoon 
chance of rain near 100%. Monday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the evening. Lows in the mid-70s. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Becoming west 5 to 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Humid with highs around 90. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Humid with lows in the mid-70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles. Yeah, the sea surface temperature is still up there. The Gulf of Mexico is rather warm right now, but like I said, some dry, dry air infiltrated it and kept it from blowing up again like it did uh, before when it was in the Windward Islands. Thursday, partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Friday, partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Heat index values up to 105. Friday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Hot with highs in the mid-90s. Chance of rain, 40%. Heat index values up to 110. Saturday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the upper 70s. Heat index values up to 105 early in the evening. Sunday, mostly sunny. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-90s. Chance of rain, 40%. Heat index values up to 110. This is your NOAA weather radio station, KGG68, operating on a frequency of 162.40 megahertz from the National Weather Service office in League City, Texas. The transmitter and antenna for this station are located in downtown Houston, Texas, with the cooperation of the Houston Office of Emergency Management and the Houston Fire Department. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location, Galveston Bay. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight, tropical storm conditions. East wind 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, rising to 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. The water is very rough, rising to dangerous. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots, becoming south 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 45 knots in the afternoon. Water is dangerous, easing to very rough in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, easing to around 20 knots after midnight. The water is rough, Easing to choppy after midnight. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, west winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. The water slightly choppy, easing to smooth in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the morning. Tuesday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. The National Weather Service in League City has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles until 3.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.33 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located over Galveston 150, moving northwest at 45 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts in excess of 50 knots. Source, radar, impact, 
Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the adjacent coastal waters. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location, Galveston Bay. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight, tropical storm conditions. East wind 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, rising to 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. The water is very rough, rising to dangerous. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. Becoming south 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 45 knots in the afternoon. The water is dangerous, easing to very rough in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms. The National Weather Service in League City has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles, waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, from 20 to 60 nautical miles, until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.35 a.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 8 nautical miles northwest of Galveston AA to near Galveston 256, moving northwest at 50 knots. Water spouts and wind gusts in excess of 50 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Galveston 256 and Galveston 221. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the adjacent coastal waters. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create local... ...harbor immediately. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location, Galveston Bay. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight. Tropical storm conditions. East winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots, rising to 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. The water is very rough, rising to dangerous. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. Becoming south 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 45 knots in the afternoon. The water is dangerous, easing to very rough in the afternoon. Tornado warning for southeastern Fort Bend County in southeastern Texas, northern Brazoria County in southeastern Texas. The water is rough, easing to choppy after midnight. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, west winds 10 to 50 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. The water is slightly choppy, easing to smooth in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the morning. Tuesday night, southwest winds... Okay, everyone, we finally got our... Not that we wanted to, but finally got our first tornado warning. The National Weather Service in League City has issued a tornado warning... For southeastern Fort Bend and northern Brazoria counties in southeastern Texas until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. So it's for the next 20 minutes. Uh, 3.37 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Siena or 7 miles southwest of Fresno, moving west at 50 miles an hour. Hazard. Tornado. Radar indicated rotation. This dangerous storm will be near Rose, Rosenberg, Pleak, Fairchilds, and Thompson around 3.45 a.m. and Needville about 3.50 a.m. 
Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Julef. Repeat, the National Weather Service in League City has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Fort Bend and northern Brazoria counties in southeastern Texas until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Let's see if we can find that rotation here. Water is smooth. It's kind of tough to see that on radar, but we'll bring that up here for you real quick. Water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early. I'm not. I'm. You know, it's very hard to tell if there's anything in this area right here. I'm not too sure. For the following coastal location, coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest for tonight. Tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. East wind 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Becoming southeast 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 70 knots. Seas 9 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet. Building to 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet. Wave detail, southeast 16 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots, easing to 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 12 to 17 feet, occasionally to 22 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet in the afternoon. Wave detail, south 17 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible with hurricane conditions also possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, easing to around 20 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 10 feet at 8 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, west winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest around 10 knots in the afternoon. He's 3 to 5 feet. Wave detail, south 4 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely until late afternoon, then scattered showers and thunderstorms late. Tuesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. He's around 3 feet. Wave detail, at 6 seconds. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots, back into southeast in the afternoon. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail, southeast 3 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Wednesday night. South winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday. Southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Back into southeast in the afternoon. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Then showers and thunderstorms likely late in the morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night. South winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher and end their thunderstorms. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, extending from 20 to 60 nautical miles. Hurricane warning in effect. Rest of tonight. Tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots. Seas 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, 
Building to 13 to 18 feet, occasionally to 23 feet. Wave detail, south 18 feet at 10 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 30 to 40 knots with gusts up to 55 knots, easing to 25 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas 12 to 16 feet, occasionally to 20 feet, subsiding to 9 to 12 feet. Okay, here we have our tornado warning. Uh, we have, here's where, where we have our highest winds. Then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms late. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible with hurricane conditions also possible. South winds 20 to 25 knots, becoming southwest around 20 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 6 feet. Occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 6 feet at 7 seconds. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Then showers and thunderstorms likely after midnight. Tuesday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Wave detail, south 4 feet at 6 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely until late afternoon. Then scattered showers and thunderstorms late. Tuesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail, south 3 feet at 6 seconds. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Wednesday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Wave detail, Southeast 3 feet at 7 seconds. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely early in the evening. I don't have time for this right now. After midnight. Thursday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. He's one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. He's one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. He's one foot or less. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. This is the 3.45 a.m. Upper Texas Coast Tide information for Galveston Channel. Tide times for today, high tide at 8.55 a.m. On Tuesday, low tide at 12.39 a.m. High tide at 9.21 a.m. For Clear Lake entrance, tide times for today, low tide at 5.51 a.m., high tide at 4.12 p.m. On Tuesday, low tide at 6.29 a.m., high tide at 4.22 p.m. For Port O'Connor, tide times for today, high tide at 2.36 p.m. On Tuesday, low tide at 2.29 a.m. There's where approximately the possible tornado is in the circled area. It's not very. It's not a very good tight couplet, but it's there. It's like broad, broad rotation. It might have been better earlier. Actually, I'm thinking it's even better over here, <laughs> but I could be wrong. In South Central Texas, Coastal Jackson and Inland Jackson. In Southeast Texas, Austin, Bolivar Peninsula, Brazoria Islands, Brazos, Burleson, Chambers. Coastal Brazoria, Coastal Galveston, Coastal Harris, Coastal Matagorda, Colorado, Fort Bend, Galveston Island, Grimes, Houston, Inland Brazoria, Inland Galveston, Inland Harris, Inland Matagorda, Madison, Matagorda Islands, Montgomery, Northern Liberty, Polk, San Jacinto, Southern Liberty, Trinity, Walker, Walner, Washington, and Wharton. When through Tuesday morning. Impact. 
excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Well, we got some higher wind gusts again here going on. Got another 80 mile an hour wind gust. And then we got the low 60s, 40s, mid to upper 40s around the Houston area. 56 uh, right now in Galveston. There's a special marine bo uh, warning here uh, near Galveston, headed towards Galveston. I do believe that's for possible water spouts. Let me double check that for you and I'll get you some information. And be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared. Here we go. Yeah, special marine warning. Coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas. Out 20 nautical miles. Waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas. 20 to 60 nautical, nautical miles. For another 10 minutes. Severe thorn, thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 8 nautical miles northwest of Galveston, A8 to near Galveston, 256. Moving northwest at 50 knots. Water spouts and wind gusts in excess of 50 knots. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in the high winds. Small craft would capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Galveston 256 and Galveston 221. So that's just a, a, a repeating a special marine warning for coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles in waters. From High Islands to Freeport, Texas, from 20 to 60 nautical miles until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. A tornado warning still is in effect at the moment. Commercial radio and television outlets or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And that is also to 4 a.m. That's an, another nine minutes from now. And... Uh, Facing beaches, including the Matagordan Peninsula, Brazoria County beaches, Galveston Island, and the Bolivar Peninsula. When through Tuesday morning, impact rip current. We're about eight minutes away from the latest update. We'll see what they have to do here. Um, what they have to say with, with the update. So, uh, Don't swim we'll give that to you as soon as it comes over. And depending on what what's happening, I might uh, go lay down for a little bit. I do have to work full time tomorrow. The stream will be up, uh, still giving you all the latest warnings and watches that will will be produced with this storm. But right now, I'm, I'm going to stick with you. We'll see what what the latest update says, and then we'll decide from there what's going to happen. Nautical miles until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3:35 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 8 nautical miles northwest of Galveston A8 to near Galveston 256, moving northwest at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts in excess of 50 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Boats could suffer significant structural damage in high winds. Small craft could capsize in suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Galveston 256 and Galveston 221. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the adjacent coastal waters. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. Here is the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. Active systems. The National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on recently. Up. Oh, here comes the latest report coming off the printer right now. As soon as it's done, I'll get it and we'll uh, we'll see what it has to say. Been almost going for two hours now straight with this storm. Yeah, I'm not doing a lot of talking, but there's not much to say. I said right now we have currently one tornado warning. Uh, there are also two severe thunderstorm warnings. They're, those are both in New Mexico. Severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Key County in East Central New Mexico, Northeastern Guadalupe County in East Central New Mexico. 
Preston Island and Matagorda Islands. A hurricane warning is in effect for inland Brazoria, inland Jackson, inland Matagorda, and Wharton. A storm surge warning and tropical storm warning are in effect for Bolivar Peninsula, Chambers, Coastal Galveston, and Coastal Harris. A tropical... Give me a second here. Brazos, Burleson, Colorado, Fort Bend, Grimes, Houston. Inland Galveston, Inland Harris, Madison, Montgomery, Northern Liberty. Southern Liberty, Trinity, Walker, Waller, and Washington storm information about 130 miles. Okay, here's the latest on Burl. Senator Burl makes landfall near Menegora, Texas. Dangerous storm surge and strong winds occurring with flash flooding. So it officially has made landfall with this 4 a.m. update. Location is 28.6, 96 north, I'm sorry, 96.0 west, about zero miles. So this is pretty much official. Right now it's made landfall. About zero miles of Matagora, Texas, about 85 miles south-southwest of Houston, Texas. Maximum stained winds are still 80 miles per hour. Present movement is north, or 355 degrees at 12 miles per hour. So that's the latest on Burl. It has officially made landfall in Matagora, Texas, with 80 mile an hour winds. The next local statement will be issued by the National Weather Service in Houston, Galveston, Texas, around 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or sooner if conditions warrant. A storm surge warning remains. Hurricane watch and tropical storm warning have been upgraded to a hurricane warning for the following county, Galveston Island, Texas. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Brazoria, Jackson, Matagorda, and Wharton. Hurricane warning remains in effect. What? South winds 40 to 60 knots with gusts up to 75 knots and seas 20 to 25 feet. Where? Portions of Gulf of Mexico. When tropical storm force winds possible until early this afternoon. Impact. Extremely strong winds will cause hazardous seas, which will likely capsize or damage vessels and severely reduce visibility. Mariners should remain in port, alter course, and or secure the vessel for extreme conditions. A tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties: in Texas, Austin, Brazos. Burleson, Colorado, Fort Bend, Galveston, Grimes, Harris, Houston, Liberty, Madison, Montgomery, Polk, San Jacinto, Trinity, Walker, Waller, and Washington. Tropical storm warning remains in effect. What? South wind 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots and dangerous bay waters. Where? Galveston Bay. When? Tropical storm for... Severe thunderstorm warning for East Central San Miguel County in northeastern New Mexico. Mariners should alter plans to avoid these hazardous conditions. The main import, seek safe harbor, alter course, and or secure the vessel for severe conditions. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Bolivar Peninsula. Chambers and inland Galveston. 3 a.m. observations at Houston Bush Intercontinental. Rain was falling. Temperature 79, dew point 76, relative humidity 90 percent. Wind at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 36. Pressure 29.74 inches and falling. At Angleton, heavy rain and fog were reported, reducing the visibility to two miles. Temperature 78, dew point 78, relative humidity 100%. Wind is at 35 miles an hour, gusting to 60. Measure 29.53 inches and falling. At Galveston, heavy rain and fog were reported. Visibility 2 and 1 half miles. Temperature 82, dew point 79. Wind was east at 30 miles an hour and the pressure was 29.60 inches. Other regional observations, temperatures were between 76 and 80 degrees. 
Rain was falling at Hobby Airport in Conroe. In San Antonio, it was partly cloudy. In Dallas-Fort Worth, it was mostly cloudy. It was cloudy at Huntsville and College Station. At Tumball, rain and fog were reported. Coastal stations at Corpus Christi, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 82. It was cloudy with a temperature of 79 at Lake Charles, 82 at Beaumont, and 79 at Victoria. At Pop a storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Galveston Island, and Matagoro Islands. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties in Texas, Bolivar Peninsula, Chambers, and Inland Galveston. 3 a.m. observations at Houston Bush Intercontinental, rain was falling. Temperature 79, dew point 76, relative humidity 90%. Wind east at 24 miles, tropical storm warning remains in effect. What? South wind 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots and dangerous bay waters. Where? Galveston Bay. When? Tropical storm force winds possible until late this afternoon. Impacts. Very strong winds will cause hazardous seas which could capsize or damage vessels and reduce visibility. Mariners should alter plans to avoid these hazardous conditions. Remain in port, seek safe harbor, alter course, and or secure the vessel for severe conditions. Hurricane warning remains in effect. What? South wind 35 to 65 knots with gusts up to 85 knots and seas 15 to 20 feet. Where? Portions of the Gulf of Mexico. When? Tropical storm force winds possible from through the next few hours. Impacts. Extremely strong winds will cause hazardous seas which will likely capsize or damage vessels and severely reduce visibility. Mariners should remain in port, alter course, and or secure the vessel for extreme conditions. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Harding County in northeastern New Mexico, northeastern Key County in east central New Mexico. Wind east at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 36. Pressure 29.74 inches and falling. At Angleton, heavy rain and fog were reported, reducing the visibility to 2 miles. Temperature 78, 2.78, relative humidity 100%. Wind east at 35 miles an hour, gusting to 60. Pressure 29.53 inches and falling. At Galveston, Heavy rain and fog were reported. Okay, we have a second tornado warning right now. Uh, the National Weather Service in League City has issued a tornado warning for East Central Fort Bend and North Central Brazoria Brazoria counties in southeastern Texas until 4.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.55 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Iowa Colony or near Manville moving west at 45 miles per hour. Hazard Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Let's see, this dangerous storm will be near southeastern Missouri City, southwestern Manville, Arcola, Iowa Colony, and Siena around 4 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Julef. Repeating, the National Weather Service in League City has issued a tornado warning for East Central Fort Bend and North Central Brazoria counties in southwest eastern Texas until 4.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time for another Oh, what we say about uh, 11 minutes, 12 minutes or so. So now we're starting to see some more uh, tornadic activity right now. Seek safe harbor immediately. 3 a.m. observations at Houston Bush Intercontinental. Rain was falling. Temperature 79, dew point 76. Relative humidity 90%. Wind east at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 36. Pressure 29.74 inches and falling. At Angleton, heavy rain and fog were reported, reducing the visibility to 2 miles. Temperature 78, 2.78, relative humidity 100%. Wind east at 35 miles an hour, gusting to 60. 
pressure 29.53 inches and falling. In Galveston, heavy rain and fog were reported. Visibility 2 and 1 half miles. Temperature 82, 2.79. Wind was east at 30 miles an hour. And the pressure was 29.60 inches. Other regional observations. Temperatures were between 76 and 80 degrees. Rain was falling at Hobby Airport and Conroe. At San Antonio, it was partly cloudy. At Dallas-Fort Worth, it was mostly cloudy. It was cloudy at Huntsville and College Station. At Tumball, rain and fog were reported. Coastal stations at Corpus Christi, it was mostly cloudy. It was cloudy with a temperature of 79 at Lake Charles. 82 at Beaumont, and 79 at Victoria. At Palm Ashes, rain and fog. Now let's get an update on the power outages. Uh, let's see. Texas has approximately... Let's go back to that. With a period of 11 seconds. 60 miles south of Freeport. Winds were south at 39 knots. Texas has about 97,000 customers without power right now. So uh, around the area, we have uh, Jackson County uh, near the landfall of Bar Barrel. Uh, 4,551 out of 5,455, so almost, well, I would say that's over 80%. Of that county, that's that is over. Even. It's eighty-three point three percent of that county is without uh, power. That's Jackson County, and then we got uh, Matagora County. It's got seventy percent of that county, or eleven thousand nine hundred six customers are out. It's a brain near one hundred percent. Then Wharton County, uh, we have about forty-one percent of the or forty-two percent out. 2,735 of 6,500 customers. And then Brazoria has 7,207 out of 46,000, and that's only about 16% of its customers are out. But I'm sure those numbers are going to go up as we have the as we have the wind gusts increasing. We're going to have trees hitting power lines and things like that. So that's what's going on with the with power right now in Texas. Um, I'm going to stick around for a little bit longer. I'm sure I'll have a couple more tornado warnings, but then I'm going to cut off for a little bit and then take a break so I can uh, be ready for work tomorrow morning. Uh, this stream is uh, it hit the 8-hour mark. It'll run to about 8 a.m. when we start a new stream, but we run 24-7, 365. We're all day, every day here at Weather Tracker Plus. Not always a live person, but there's always... Definitely uh, up, live updates with warnings and watches and live radar. So officially, Bureau has made landfall at 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time near Matagora. Uh, that is as per the National Weather Service. Still has 80 mile an hour sustained winds. I'm sure those will start to decrease a little bit as time goes on as it may, interacts with land. And loses its energy from the uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico. And I do believe the actual forecast has finally showed up. I don't know what was the delay on that. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 50%. Heat index values up to 110. Friday night. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Heat index values up to 105 early in the evening. Saturday, partly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the so the forecast maximum, uh, maximum winds by 1800Z would be down to 50 knots with 60 mile an hour knot wind gusts. So it will it will slowly dissipate as time goes on. Sunday, mostly sunny. 
a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-90s. Chance of rain, 40%. Heat index values up to 110. Coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Galveston Bay. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight. Tropical storm conditions. East winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Rising to 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. The water is very rough, rising to dangerous. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday, tropical storm conditions expected. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots. Becoming south 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 45 knots in the afternoon. The water is dangerous, easing to very rough in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Southwest winds 20 to 25 knots, easing to around 20 knots after midnight. The water is rough, easing to choppy after midnight. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Tuesday, west winds 10 to 15 knots. Coming southwest. Just a quick update on that tornado watch that we still have for Upper Texas Coast and the coastal waters. That is until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm not too, too sure how long they're going to keep that going, if it's going to make it to that time. But I do know that the, the most of the tornadic activity is going to happen later on this afternoon uh, up in the Texarkana area. Uh, in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. So that that will be where it's going to be more critical than it is now. Wednesday night, southwest wind 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, west winds around the 5 knots. Back into south in the... Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Flash flood warning for southern Curry County in east central New Mexico. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. The water is smooth. Scattered showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and waves higher and end their thunderstorms. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal location. Coastal waters from High Island to Freeport, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Tornado watch 513 in effect until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time this morning. Hurricane warning in effect. Today. Look at this this uh, radar that's on the screen right now. It kind of looks like the, the storm is already moving uh, north northeast, but we'll see. It seems like or it just did a little wobble to the northeast. So at four fifteen, I'm going to wrap it up with me for right now. Life in tornado is still here. Uh, I don't know how much longer he's going to still be here, but <clears throat> I, we're going to keep this. Will be running like it always does. We'll have. Uh, Tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings as as they happen. Uh, with live radar, the, everything runs automatically and keeps updating. I need to get some rest. To 11 feet, subsiding to 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet after midnight. Wave detail, south 9 feet at 8 seconds. A chance of showers. A chance of thunderstorms. I want to thank everybody for who's who's been uh, watching tonight. <clears throat> uh, we're going to try to do this more often as like hurricanes. Hopefully, you don't have any more landfall hurricanes this year, but you never know. We'll try to do this and try to do this more for more special events, more large uh, tornado events. But I, like I said before, this stream runs twenty four seven live every day, all day. Uh, you can come in anytime, check it out for. Five ten minutes. Get what your latest update of what's going on, and then you can move on. Um, 
Um, we're all about here, all about making sure everybody's informed on what's going on in their area. And we try to do that for everyone. So that's going to wrap it up for me for right now. Everybody have a good night. Everyone stay safe out there. If you're in the path of this storm, be weather aware and be prepared. So, and I will be uh, back later if needed. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see you then. Have a great morning, everyone. A chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Thursday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas around 3 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Then showers and thunderstorms likely late in the morning. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Thursday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. A chance of showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. A chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. A chance of showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. Flood advisory in effect until 6.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time this morning. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected. Where? A portion of southeast Texas, including the following counties, Brazoria, Fort Bend, and Galveston. When? Until 6.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Impacts. Minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Ponding of water in urban or other areas is occurring or is imminent. Additional details at 3.13 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are expected over the area. This additional rain will result in minor flooding.